All right, welcome to. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Mix. You're lying to me. Batman the Telltale series. Your fucking thing isn't updated. It says you're on the home. YouTube's closed for me. Sorry, guys. We're kicking this off with some uh, technical issues because Craig is a technical nightmare. Where are you with a brand new game? Pretty much. Batman Telltale. If you're. If you're... <laughs> I'm going to piss on you. Is your audio on or not? Okay. Basically, Craig's just pissing me off. Anyway, we're here with a new game, very much. Batman Telltale series. Never played it in my life. I'm not really a big fan of Batman. And they're going to do this one, and then probably the enemy within. And if Craig starts keeps continuing to say stupid shit, we'll go and play it on our own, leave the party, and just play it on our own, you know? So, it's up to him. This is his, this is his choice. Can you actually see the stream now, Craig? Is your audio on, on, or can you put it on when you got it sorted? Mm -hmm. What bit? So is it working now, or? It's working perfectly fine for me, so I might just start playing anyway. You're getting on my nerves. It's working fine for me. You can put your audio on or am I talking to myself? Is that of interest? Oh, okay. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Invite me back if you get it sorted. Alright, so we're going to leave Craig behind because he's, he's a pain in the arse. But basically, what we're doing here is Batman Telltale series. I never played this game. I'm not, like I said, I'm not really a big fan of Batman. Not really sure about all the references. There might be references here that I don't get, that you guys might get. So, I suppose I'll just start it. No point in dicking around. Once Craig fixes his stream or whatever he needs to fix, we'll go back into a party with him and. Then see what happens. So there is episode 1, Realm of Shadows. Episode 2, Children of Arkham. Episode 3, New World Order. Episode 4, Guardian of Gotham. And episode 5, City of Light. So we'll be going through them one at a time. I don't know what crowd play is, so I'm just going to leave that off for now. Um, obviously there's more from DC Telltale here. There's Wolf Among Us. I've already done that though. I've already got that YouTube channel. Or YouTube series on my channel. Anyway, Bruce Wayne navigates the treacherous waters of Gotham politics as a series of shocking allegations um, surface while Batman confronts Gotham's most notorious crime boss. Alright, sweet. Without any further ado, we might as well get started. I think the, the volume should be okay. You guys can hear me and the game should be okay. How do I start it? Just A, right? Alright, here we go. Brightness. Barely visible. We'll put it up a little bit because I like it being a bit brighter. Uh, we'll put it there. I like a bit more brightness to my games. Select a bat tech color. Your bat tech color determines the look of Batman gadgets, gear, and UI. Oh, I'll go red then. My favorite color out of the four. And now we'll load into the story. This could be interesting. How many times am I going to die? So we're going to do this like we did The Walking Dead, obviously, episode by episode. Just working on it as it's slowly progressing. I don't know if I'm going to do it daily, because I've got career mode to keep up with. And then there's predictions for WWE 2K20. So there's quite a lot going on. But we'll try and keep up to it as much as I can. Like I said, after this one, I'm going to do The Enemy Within, because that's also come up for free. So I'll play them both and put them up on the channel. And I also bought Life is Strange, because someone wanted me to do Life is Strange, and it was like £2 or £3 or something, so I'll go through that as well. Game series adapts to the choices you make. Story is tailored by how you play. Good old Telltale games. Uh, here we are. I've got subtitles on large as well, so you, like if you have difficulty seeing, then you'll see a bit better. City Hall, 8.32pm. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this game. Hey, what are you 
Uh, we've already got death. Not a good start, I guess. Oh. Here we go. What's going on here? Do I have to pick my controller up? Make sure, just in case. Get it open. On it. Oh, we're getting it open. Hey, we're a bank. Show. We'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Oh, so my subtitles writing is red as well. Okay. Decent. Security guard is dead. Oh, Christ. Move in. I don't know who that is, and I probably should know, shouldn't I? Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. Gordon. They're on the 52nd floor. I'm going in. Hey, okay, so he's wait. Gordon. Wait for backup. Don't need it. Take the stairs. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Oh, look who it is. Who to guess? Okay. Okay, they know. Okay, they know. They know. They know. Oh, let's press the button. Yep. What's up, idiot? Wouldn't recommend. Oh. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. I know the butler's called no Alfred. And I knew the ba I knew Batman's real name was Bruce. You've sacrificed. The city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. Blood on the mantle. Oh, what? Here we go. Shit! The hell did he go? Are we switching from reality to Don't Batman? Get out. I'm gonna let the story play out. I'm not gonna try and make guesses. Now I know your business is what it was. On this. Stop, idiots. <coughs> the hell is this? <coughs> hey guys, it's your boy Batman here with a little bit of I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, oh, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Last one's like now. I'm You're oh. trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. In glass out Sometimes down. you need Lovely. a monster. Come on, yeah, come on. Oh, go again. Back come on. I guess this is like a pre pre story thing. Yeah, yeet. Yeah, yeet. Yeah, yeet. Yep, yep. I press that time definitely. Whoa, this is quite fast actually. I have to be on my guard. Of 
quite a lot of action to be completely honest. Nah, mate. Nah, mate. Nah, mate. Nah. Oh. God, that's. <laughs> I'm not gonna hit every. I'm not gonna hit every button correctly. I'm. This is. This is mad speed. I've never so used to playing a game this fast. Did I just kill him with that punch? No. Through the door! This feels a lot different to any other Telltale game I've played. I'm not sure at the moment if that's good or bad. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Ah, oh, it's Catwoman. Behind you, big boy. Heyday. I'm chasing Catwoman. Hmm. That's not this baby. Damn it, what am I doing now? I'm gone, buddy! Why would I be on the arrest? I'm dying. It would be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Oh, that's not good. Those people will be afraid of me. The criminals and the police. I'm fine with the criminals being scared of me. That's my job. But the police, I don't know. I'm meant to be a good guy, ain't I? Not a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Uh, okay, well, the, the, mm. nope, 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 nope. Nope. This is difficult. I have to put a full concentration into this. No, no don't. I'm not in that. I'm not that kinky shit. That got me. You on drugs? I'm not into that kinky shit, dude. Play now. No, no. No. I'm hitting women. Okay, that spurs a little bit. And I got. Okay, she's off. It's like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I don't have this. Oh, here we go. Oh, use a helicopter. <laughs> I thought it was like her escape chopper or something. Yeet. We're hitting a woman at the end of the day. So this game advocates violence to women, is all I'm saying. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. Okay, well that's a that's a bit of a problem. I have to admit, that's a bit of a setback. I'm not gonna lie to you here. I'm going to be honest about how to do it. Those are quite difficult. Those are stick ones. Uh oh. Jesus. Wait, wait, wait! Do not shoot! Stop trying to scratch me. Get on my nerves. I press the wrong button. Look at this, it matter that much. God, this is so fucking difficult. How much of this I can play? I'm gonna get pissed off probably at some point. Skate, skate. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit. Hmm. The myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. 
It's like of Alfred already. A minute. Dude. God damn it! I said don't shoot me! No! Wait! <sighs> Look unfriendly. Don't do one of those fucking tracking things on me, I can't be arsed, dude. Did he just kill the catwoman? Did he just kill catwoman? Hold on a minute. What's going on here? I suppose I better catch her. Is it gonna work? Uh, mixed results, we would say, in the business. Camera let her drop. Oh no, I think it'd be funny to let her drop. The hell is this place? Uh, guess I was wrong about you catching me. <laughs> She's got a point. I'm not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Give up. There's no way out. <laughs> Give me some credit. Bye, Bat. <laughs> what a hole. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Oh shit, Alfred getting well, savage. What's going on here? A party. Time to save the city. A party's going on. Or at least a summon drinks, at least. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome Thank to you, Gotham. That's my first achievement. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Well. Say hi, Bruce. Gotta keep, keep, keep all waiting. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. I can tell. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change God. No, I don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy, so here we go. Be interesting to work it out. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. It'd be useful to have Craig here now. now. This is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. I think anyone cares too much, to be honest. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. 
Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public. This will help you too, Bruce. Just go stop talking. Once I've turned this city so around much. as mayor, <laughs> you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have <laughs> in crime. Before. I love it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. How about uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. That's not half bad. I'm gonna use that, Bruce. I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham, a city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey. But you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Do we have to? Come on. I don't know half these people. Oh fucking hell! There's gonna be something going on here, isn't there? It's not gonna be a peaceful evening, is it? Drinking from the bottles. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here Hello. is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After Decent. all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, my name isn't important. What is important is Mr. Dent's campaign. Like now, it or not, the Wayne name carries weight in Gotham. That's I true. Understand. I, I know that much. Don't want to throw it around. Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. This city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice Who? like it's the wild goddamn <laughs> Who's the West. Cape Bat Freak? Oh, Bobby, <laughs> regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous <laughs> Wouldn't mentality bet against to it. think so. That's how you get... Creeps like this Batman, or whatever it's called. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. <laughs> be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. That's not too far. I don't doubt that for a moment. Let's not go and too don't far. Don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. I knew my parents were killed. Tragedy like know how. that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with I always wait till the end, but just to get like the full... And whatever thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. Decent. Two more to vote for Dent. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. Okay. It is a night of ringing endorsements. I've got to do this for everyone now. Like, you you better vote for Harvey or issues will arise. Oh, well, hello. Who's this? Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. 
This is quite the social event, Mr. Oh, Wayne. Come on now, so formal. Come, Bruce. Call me Bruce. <laughs> well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? Decent. You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. But now that you're here, everyone loves everyone the host. Everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. Just a day. Well, I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year round. Hmm. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. <clears throat> Mr. Wayne, you've you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah. It looks like. Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just uh, cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Let's be a prick, Harvey. Me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. <sighs> He's a bad guy, isn't he? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. At least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Maybe you can change your mind. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce. You insist. Play nice. I will if he does. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Hmm? Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. Money's we'll money. Get to that. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Oh, everyone's looking around. It's not good. You're a respectable man, I hear. Effort. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's going to sell me his house. Gentlemen, Possibly. perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Falcone doesn't look you a bit No, Mr. Falcone. Happy. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At You'll be fine out there. Is there an audio glitch there? I've plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. I'll bring Bruce back to you soon. I don't trust him. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you... Ah, what did I say? Seen and not heard, as I said. I just got it. <laughs> I'm slow, okay. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience... Did we say you can have a drink? And there's doing what's right. I don't remember you saying you can have a drink. I get it. I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. I know how you I feel. Understand more than you know. Good. I know how you feel. He talks too fucking smart. much, doesn't he? Glad it adds up to something real. Uh, Mr. Falcone, I no more warnings. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. He wants the house. Give me a digestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. I'm not interested. Chalk this for me. 
Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? You can chalk okay, your own imagine. cue. This is me. Hmm. And these are all my friends in Gotham. Oh, God, here we go. Businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. This is going to lead to something, isn't it? If Harvey gets elected. Is there something up with That's the... That's why I came here tonight. Is the audio meant to be like that, or...? Hoping to make a new friend. I'm confused. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. For Gotham. For our city. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked. Trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now, that's a predicament. It does seem like one, doesn't it? You listen to me, kid. Oh, I know he's mad. Inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Don't come into my Your face. Your father like that. knew which hands to shake. And don't start talking about my family. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. It is indeed. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Of course not. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. <laughs> and he's gonna get what's coming to him. Oh, I'm terrified. Maybe I should be terrified. I don't know what any of this means. Oh, we're just starting the episode half an hour in, huh? Quite a long intro. Yeah, that is the end of the episode. In which case, it's a very quick episode. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'm joking. I know it's a start. Played too many Telltale games not to know. At this point, it's the time anyway. 25 to 10. Okay, it's quite early still. I'm kind of... Tired. What goes on here? Oh, Falcon is goes the only Oh, voice recognition system. Classy. Episode one. Realm of Shadows. So there is five episodes, just so you guys know if you're just tuning in. Another brutal week in Gotham. We've been here for the first half an hour already, you've seen the little intro bit. It'll be on the past broadcasts after and it'll be on YouTube as well. So She was really after him. <laughs> oh, you still got a thing. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? What would be perceived as a nearly fell off a building for this? Could be important. Just noted that it had noted it had an objective in the top left. Otherwise, the data drive at that computer. 
by Ace Chemical. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. Gotham the District Attorney Harvey Dent calls upon the mayor's office to take a public stand against the wave of vigilante action sweeping the streets. Mayor Hill could not expect the DA's office to prosecute the co uh, cases or any on any criteria other than the law, said Dent at a city hall press conference. Dent has taken a firm stand against vigilantism in Gotham, from the uptick in citizen-led shootings to the costume superhero Batman. Dent is currently enjoying a, popularity, a surge in popularity of one of the lowest criminal backlog indexes. His, ground victim, his groundbreaking victims assistance program is part of the platform that drew his most recent successful bid for re-election since becoming Gotham's youngest district attorney at age 26. Police Lieutenant tapped to lead task force. I'm just... I don't know whether to read all this, to be honest. Beckett might as well. Get the full story, you know. We'll go here. Gotham Police... Commissioner Peter Grogan appointed Lieutenant James Gordon to lead a major task force after criminal chatter in the Gotham underworld recently increased to an alarming degree. In a press conference earlier today, Lieutenant Gordon insisted that we are aware of, an, we are aware of nefarious elements appearing and mobilizing en masse in our city. Present they are unknown but not unnoticed. We will find them. Gordon earned an honorable discharge from the USMC before joining the GCPD and has quickly risen to the ranks. He has frequently stated that the Marine Corps made him the man he is today. Wayne Enterprises funds Arkham Asylum replacement. The chargeable arm of Wayne Enterprises, is headed by Robert and Regina Zellerbach, has announced funding for a new mental health care facility to replace the outdated Arkham Asylum. For years, the asylum has made headlines for its inhumane approach to patient treatment and its violent, oftentimes deadly, prisoner escapes. But soon that will no longer be the case. The Thomas and Martha Memorial Hospital, as it will be called, will offer a mixture of maximum security confinement with modern mental health care practices to truly heal those who are suffering. Ambitious plans are already underway. underway to transfer current Arkham inmates as soon as construction completes and implement a critical program of rehabilitation and release. Is that, is that what I had to do? I'm confused. Oh. Oh. So I just read that for no reason. The more you know. Apologies about that. I wasted anyone's time there. I'm interested. Damn, encrypted. Wait, man, I have seven encrypted. bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process... It's how she got called Catwoman what because Alfred goes, that Catwoman. Different. Kurt Angle? Oh. Do I say the hologram? Useless. Look. Okay. Any idea what I'm actually looking for? This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs. Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. Zero percent. This takes a heckin' long time. I saved you what I could. What is it? Thanks, so. Hmm. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear <laughs> everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the hmm. game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what I'm aware of that, Alfred. For the uh. record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Okay. Back when it still had one. It can I'm not a big fan of. Bruce. I'm not a big fan of Falcone either, to be honest. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. 
Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Did I not just check the codex? Look, we'll use the codex to look up info on the cat burglar. Okay, this could be. I'm assuming that's my fam. Thomas and Martha Wayne, deceased. Founders of Wayne Enterprises. My parents. Dad was a physician. Mum was a philanthropist. They worked tirelessly to help the less fortunate, setting up numerous charities and expending their vast resources to improve the city and its citizens. Murdered in an attempt. Attempted robbery by a man known as Joe Chill, who's also dead. Alfred Pennyworth. Faithful, patient, ever helpful Alfred. He's been a part of the family my whole life. He raised me when my parents were murdered and guided me when I thought I was lost. He's my butler, my confidant, and the most secret weapon in my arsenal. He completely frequently about my nightly activities, but he's still there to patch me up when I need it. Harvey Dent. Gotham City District Attorney, mayoral candidate. This actually helps me a lot, because I don't know a lot of these people. A new friend in the best district attorney Gotham City has seen in years. His political ambitions have always been as big as his ego, and now he's hoping to become mayor. He's got... So many great ideas for how to save the city. I think he'll be good for Gotham, but I have to steer him down the right path to get there. He's too easily swayed by anyone with power, regardless of the American morality. Hamilton Hill. This must be Mayor Hill, who is a mayor currently. Mayor of Gotham th City. Exhibit A and what's wrong with the city. Hill should have been thrown out of office years ago, but he's got his hands wrapped around Gov Gotham's government in a death grip. He's been suspected of numerous crimes, but it's never been enough to make any of it stick. He's rotten to the core, and one day the city will realise it. Harvey's out there doing his best, and hopefully his upcoming election will be the end of Hill's corrupt administration. Cat burglar. Crimes. Burglary and petty larceny. New criminal on the scene, tied to several recent break-ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. Uh, we're going to read the rest of them while we're here. Oswald Cobble, Cobble, Cobblepot, a.k.a. Penguin. Crimes. Arms dealing, illegal boxing matches, receiving stolen property. He was a childhood friend, but he's almost like a stranger to me now. Just like me, his family fell apart here in Gotham. He went off to boarding school in England and there are paths diverged. He seems to have fallen into a life of crime. The last two decades gave him a lengthy rap sheet and a strange nickname, the Penguin. What happened to you, Oz? James Gordon. Lieutenant, GCPD, Major Crimes Unit, Associates, Barbara Gordon, who's his daughter. He's a good by the bit cop in a department that doesn't trust Batman. He was recently tapped to lead the Major Crimes Task Force, an impressive promotion, so he's doing something right. I think he could be a trustworthy and reliable source of info, but I'll need to cultivate that relationship. He's a family man, so he's not willing to take necessary risks on the street. That's fine. I'll take the risks. Vicky Vale. Investigative journalist, Gotham Gazette. One of the Gazette's most ambitious and competent reporters. I've read her stuff. Some of it can be a bit tabloid, but her passion for the truth is undeniable. She's been with the paper for a while, covered all kinds of beats. Someone like that has the kind of access others would kill for. She might even hear more about what's going on in Gotham than I do. One day, I may need to find out what she knows. Carmine Falcone. Skyline club owner, head of Falcone crime family, the worst kind of gangster, one who tries to mingle with high society. He seems to have his hands in everything, including smuggling real estate, bribery and fraud. I could haul him to jail, but he'd walk the next day. I could shut down an operation, but two are popping up in its place. His empire is vast and multi-layered. Finding hard admissible evidence is required for a conviction. Gotham City. Well, I know what that is. It's the city. Population 10 million. This city is like a living creature. It's always growing outward and upward. The people who live here are survivors. They have to be, and these are better than the corruption that infests this place. Arkham Asylum. Established November 1921. I'm guessing when we see new things, it gets added to this, this codex, and we can learn more about it that way. Gotham City is only maximum security of psychiatric hospital for now. Outdated in every way. Building is falling apart, equipment is antiquated, and the staff's methodology it leaves much to be desired. When the Thomas and Martha Wayne Memorial Hospital opens, these patients will finally get the treatment they need. Wayne Enterprises. I'm assuming this is my place. Multinational corporation founded by my ancestors, covering all manner of manufacturing and finance. I inherited a majority stake from my father, but I'm not involved in the day-to-day -day operations. However, the R&D resources have been helpful in pursuing my private interests. And that is all. Well, we found out what we need to know about Catwoman. Not much to find. And we uh, decided to read about everything else. Burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't they, step outside alone, without Alfred. it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. Don't compare me to her. I don't like being compared to a common criminal. No, I think you're missing the point. You have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself. I'm aware, but I'm not, not a common criminal. Not the billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. <laughs> I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's going to figure it out now. Trust me. 
I don't know how long these episodes are going to take at a time. Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long I'm reckoning around an hour and a half, two hours, hours most likely, here. like normal Telltale episodes. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. This city needs me, alright? I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. Oh, yes, <laughs> you drive that thing like a bat out of hell. You think you're funny, don't you, Alfred? Old men worry, that's all. It's our Aware. gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Harvey's business card. Park, 6 a.m. Oz. I, I saw Oz. It's been what? Ah. years. Last time I saw him. Oswald Cobblepot. We grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Probably. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald mm. claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... Haven't the 6 a.m. as well. I'll give him a tack of a chance, you know what? I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. Well, give him a chance, if Alfred. Correctly, Stop Oswald being... Was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. Fun. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. Oh, but I know well, you can't I abandon be. a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, <laughs> Alfred. Oh, well. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. Oh, got another uh, achievement. The one that got away. Complete chapter two of episode one. Okay. We're making decent progress then. The one that got the hell out of here. We're a few minutes late. I don't think it's going to make a difference, really. Six in the heckin' morning. The local hobo warming his hands on the fire. Cobblepot Park. Where are you, Oz? Probably behind you in that car that's just pulled up. Oh. I thought it'd be that easy. Oh, well, we'll have a look. I'll click on everything just to learn, or just to know what it is. I'm nosy. I've got graffiti. Nothing. Incredible. I... Oh, let's look at the newspaper. No, I want to go back. I want to look at the newspaper. He's like, ah, well, this part looks like shit. I'm gone. If I press A on the paper, will it go to the paper? Alright. I tried to walk towards it. That was my mistake. And now we can go up the stairs and have a look at what's up the stairs. Almost person. Examine. So up, idiot? <coughs> you know what? Change. Uh, thank you, sir. If there's multiple homeless people, I'm not doing it for every single one of them. Alright, making that clear right now. Park looks like shit, to be honest. Okay. Oh. Running late, meet you by the statue. Great. Well. There's the statue, but. No eyes. He just says he's running late. I mean, granted, you're late, so you should be here soon. I'll have a little look. Then. I'll look around, a little scout about. It's in Oz, is it? No, oh, smoking man. Smoking man! I can't go up there. Hey. Ting. Beat it! 
do you know who I am? Isn't what it used to be. Kind of like, like so many fucking graffitis, and he just doesn't appreciate street art. Is there even any graffiti there? It just looks like a wall. Have I looked at everything? To ensure that I have. Okay, I can't go up these stairs. All right, statue time. It'll probably throw me into a cutscene with Oz. That'd be my guess. It's the last thing I can interact with, so. Watch wallet cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? Huh? <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh, ruining the moment! Come here! I think that'll do! Idiot. Stay down! Hmm. Thank you, Oz. I had that covered, but just in case you... This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Why would you attack me? You're an idiot, mate. You just ran to the fucking stuff. Okay. Let's murder him. Just hurt him enough so he this won't my bother. Park. Mine. Yeah, get out. Hey, Oz. <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Yeah, good as new. Mm. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? I'm not, not sure about this character. Not the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Place is a dump. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. It's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Glad they never saw it like this. Well, those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Oswald or Oz. Oz to be kings, I did. Who's Clem Oz? I'm just Both gonna call him Oz. <sighs> so much easier than calling him Oswald. This city Oswald Cobblepot. Right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, you did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. What are you drinking at six in the it's morning? It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. I used to I run in the same that. circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Are we going to end up in the fight now, with this guy? all I got is this park. And what's left in this flask. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce. I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Yep. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... Oh, wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Let him choke on it. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. 
On that, we can agree in earnest. Yeah. Bacconi made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Fucking hell, Sorry, this is mate. dark. This reunion got a lot more <laughs> than our plan. I was gonna say, dark. Things are gonna be son of a bitch. Soon, no? What's my battery on my phone? I'm gonna put my back on my phone and charge. The revolution just is knocking on Gotham's door. So I'm not and fully I'm paying attention. I apologize. It's on ten percent. Some kind of wanna. Which brings me to you, life. Bruce. Is Don't it, it's have got me. In any direction, you break a window at Wayne Enterprises' own. Mm. As the rich and powerful go. Oh, you top Gotham's list. Are you jealous or proud of me? I thought. My revolution starts. We're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? Wait a minute. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. But. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. An interesting one. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Well, I like Oz. Whether he's a decent guy or it's what. I like Oz. <laughs> Like I said, I don't know an incredible lot about Batman, so... Most of the characters are new to me. Most of the, some of the characters I'll know. Just based off common knowledge. Future home of Thomas and Martha Wayne Memorial Hospital. This doesn't look good unless that's our car, which I'm pretty sure it is. Now that I think about it. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Sorry, Harvey. Bruce, Bruce. Fuck it. We'll we'll go into it. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> well, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been That's a breeding text, ground sure. for the criminally insane. Suck. Hold up. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And what's up? Not now. It's not right. Inside the asylum itself. I have to go. What's up? I'm, I'm curious. curious. And we're still those who do get out, or God forbid, escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Tell Asylum is, is a cancer on God. It will do. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens. Oh, I feel like someone's going to die. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Crime is rampant. Sick needs our help. My parents would be honored. My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide.
today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. No, we... All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. All right, my you mic should be fine. No, I think I hope. I was talking to my mom, and then my mic stopped working, so it's kind of a problem. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Better read it. Urgent. But Mr. Wayne, this GCP morning the Globe GCP. received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas what? Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years shared. and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Wait. I don't know if he's bullshit or not. Wait. I guess I doubt your evidence. And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises paychecks? All right, this press conference is over. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. I've been fucking busy, dude. Also, I know I missed one of the little prompt things that I was meant to press. I was trying to sort stuff out with my microphone. Being a little shit. Achievement unlocked. Meet the press. It's probably the prompt that led to this BS. Yo, what's up? What's, what's going on here? Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. This is the lieutenant. This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. Let them do a job. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill in the rain with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. Alfred's incredibly said, patient. No, not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. You need to be the guy doing your taxes. That's Alfred's you job. To find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. Fair, I guess. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill. Signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Fuck's sake. Of course. <laughs> okay, so you just do whatever Mayor Hill says. <sighs> Hill and I, we have a vested interest to keep things professional. For Gotham's sake. Doesn't mean I like the words whistling through his windpipes. At least he's 
I don't know how not your dumb. neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. It's just Mayor Hill flexing his for power while he can. I pray you've got nothing to hide. What would I have to hide? Dude. Dude, be careful. This, this is going to be a picture of my parents, isn't it? Just is, isn't it? To do this, wait, you did it in two shots. Well, legend. Bruce. Bruce. Probably not the reaction I should be having to my parents' murders, but oh, hello. Bruce. Who are you? Is that Vicky woman? I can't recognize her. I, to be honest. I didn't mean to interrupt, but. Be a bit rude here and tell her I'm busy right now. I'm a bit busy right now, Miss Vale. As you can see, Gotham's finest, not the best house guests. Yeah, the kind who steal things. Listen, Bruce, a scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And oh, it's all gosh. Hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. Well, first guess, nosy reporters. The public's fascinated with you, Mr. Wayne. A scandal like this? It's a reporter's dream. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. Oh, this fun. isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Fuck it. I might as well give a quote, I suppose. Yeet. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. Uh, story is pure fiction, we'll go with. This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Well, You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. Well, hopefully it happens this time too. I don't even close my door, I stab. Everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? Not a coincidence. Definitely Harvey's planned. district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out... Didn't know it was the anniversary didn't. of my parents' death, to be honest. Learned that. To be honest, I'm not sure how I fully feel about this game. I don't know if I'm enjoying it or not. I'm kind of in the middle ground right now.
Cafe Triste, or Trist. Trist? 5.23 p.m. Yo, what's up? Is that me? A warrant? No. It's Harv. That's on? me. Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Okay. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. Okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. That's a good point. I just don't get it. I feel like somehow Why I'm picking the wrong stick options. stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Oh, God, what a mess. I'll just go Batman on them and see... Bruce, like, I wish I could something. just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. Yes, sir. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. <sighs> and that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Tell them then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. Hey, you. Is this? Sorry, I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. Wait. Wait. <laughs> you didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we'd both welcome a change of topic. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. Hmm. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her Chuck around her. Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. I'd take that ride. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? It's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? I was mugged. Uh-oh. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. It's not your fault. Well, that's terrible. Did they catch the guy? Not yet. But if they don't, I will. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? That's quite interesting. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. Could have been worse. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Let's not talk about the press you? conference. I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. No, no. Hey, it's Harvey. <laughs> Something's gonna happen here, isn't it? Well, I know who she is, but she knows who I am. Coincidental, a train was passing at that time. Nice to meet the real you. Okay, so she does know. <laughs> Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. 
Does it? Now you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention everyone in this cafe. What do you want with Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. Yo, don't wanna. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. Love life. I'm curious about something now. I do what I do for money, but you're Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you. Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. That's a shame. Well, sucks to suck. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. Who hired you to break into the mayor's office? My clients prefer to remain confidential. They don't know who I am. I don't know who they are. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, it looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. Hold on a minute. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding them. Oh, you don't need my help. You seem pretty capable of handling this yourself. Oh, I intend to. Uh oh. Just give me back the drive and I'll be on my merry little way. Yeah, That's not you doing it on your own, though, is it? That's me helping you again. Listen, oh, you I don't, don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address. Now. No. Give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. That's like a personal problem, realistically. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. <clears throat> Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel mm. better already. This is quite intriguing. Sorry, I'm kind of getting into it a bit more now. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Oh. It's all gonna go wrong somewhere along the line, I can already tell. Gotham Docks, Warehouse 133, don't screw it up. Oh well. It's me, so. We'll, we'll just have this. I'm a wild card, I guess. Will I screw it up? That's the question. I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. Is she bullshitting? Quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. She could be BSing, you know. It doesn't necessarily mean that she's telling the truth just because she's giving us the fucking thing. Use less to open the doors, okay. Sorry, I assumed it was doing left and right on the stick to uh, open it, but I had to press up on the stick, which is why I struggled to open it. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. Lovely. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? I'll call it. That's what I'm going to find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Ew, there's just body parts on the floor. Nothing left to bury. <laughs> now lie 
kerosene. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Hmm. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Intriguing. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. We can start to happen to you by discovering which pieces of evidence best linked together to tell the story. I have no idea. I'm just gonna go with whatever. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Hmm. Can this dead body just move? White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Why have we done this already, then? Why, why did it take so long to noise every, want to noise every move? Oh, no, mercenary dead. No. That bad? His eyeballs out. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Wouldn't say so. Skylight Club. Hmm. Learning new things every day. Can we link this to anything? I guess I link this. Oh my God. Pressing A. To. Uh. Maybe they could. It must be that. It must be this then, right? So I think I can link it to. Doesn't that help? Well then, you know, we're just gonna keep examining shit. And then we'll link all the other stuff after. This man's been badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? I wonder. Hold on a minute. Ew. Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Why you know? Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. How do I reset the link? Break link, yeah. What if I do this? I don't know. This. To this. Don't think so. No proof. Hunting hell, what do I do then? What can I still link things to? Can I go in here? Or will it it'll just say it will open or something? Oh.
Oh, door breaks off. So there's that. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of interest. Right. We're making it together now. We're getting somewhere. Now, if I link this, brains are working. Brains are coming together. If I link this to your boy here with the incendiary bullet inside him. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Continue linking related evidence to reconstruct the crime. Oh, there's more. Pallets. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? I'm doing this in the wrong order, ain't I? Right, link. I can't link the pallets. I'll link this. To the bloody hands. I know it's probably wrong, I'm just giving it a test. Oh my god, it was. Oh, heckin' no, dude. Do this then? Excuse me, can I? I'll try this again. Bloody hands. Is this fucking kind of front of me? Why would it link? That's so awkward, that one. The cop shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent. Make them We're getting somewhere. Finally. What have I not searched? Link the blast epicenter. To what though? To the chalk cop. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. I even noticed this cop. Oh, is, does this fucking link to the cop? I don't... Unscorched area. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Link. Area devoid of the explosion. Can we break this? Just like, stop it. That's all. What am I missing here? Besides brain cells, what am I getting wrong? Is there something else for this door? No, I can't get further. If I, I can't link the dead body, can't link the body parts. I've got to link the blast up. Is it just this? Is it that? Art oh, normal. <laughs> get confused. But someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Finally. That probably leaving his rose here. Should have been easier than it was. Dead and I apologize. Stolen for having no brain. He's making a big move. Damn is a shit out gone. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. I don't know how many of those scenarios there's going to be, Captain but I'll probably take a while no, each time. But based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, 
The shooter mm. could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. So up. And would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Alfred is so fucking loyal, honestly. Look at his sniper dust. Was it here? Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Okay. Sorted. We'll try the next spot then. Over here. I may be the last spot because it's me. Let's try again. I don't want to take something on this. Oh, there we go. Your boys found it. I, I'm assuming that's phosphorus. Okay, phosphorus up. spike. Yeah. Clear vantage point. Yep. We have a winner. Yeah, ding ding ding. Didn't have to go to all the places. About the donkey. Sweet. I guess I'll look this at the floor. Right spot. So where did he go? Looks like I have to follow the fucking Okay, I'll follow it in a second. I just wanna look at the cigarette. Can I smoke it? Hmm. Killing time. Do we get to smoke it? No. Alright, well. Following the phosphorus, phosphorus, phosphorus. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. But found him. Time to go to work. Wait. Wait. Is he still? Oh, a bit loud. I'm proud. <laughs> Yo, what's up? World's greatest detective. Achievement unlocked. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcony, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. Huh. You, you can't make me talk. You didn't do this alone. Where are the others? Long gone. Doesn't help me. You won't find them. I didn't want to be physical. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Uh, hello. Fancy seeing you here upside down, hanging around like this. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Well, I'm a bat. Give me a reason to stop. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan. Or I start swinging. Oh, uh. go easy. Yeah. Tell me! The Catwoman was supposed to hand over a drive. Had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Do you want to be hit? Oh, okay. I guess we'll look. Please don't. No. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! I swear! You're fat! You're supposed to be a good guy. I had to. I had to. I had to. Oh God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Send a cleanup unit to the docks. Warehouse one three three.
I'm gone. What would I talk to Gordon as Batman? I was wrong. Gonna need that ambulance too. The hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? Batman. No. No. Oh, there, You're Lieutenant this too far, Bruce. Gordon noted your violence. I'm not taking this too far. I was having a bit of fun. I've just done chapter four. I don't know how many chapters are in, or well, how many chapters are in an episode. I should say. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. Oh, you shut killed a man tonight. Shut up. I want to kill them. Your parents didn't raise you this way. Oh, I'm good, Sakim. And neither did I. He's still alive. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. Where he belongs. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family, you must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. I know I can't kill Alfred, but he is getting on my damn nerves. <laughs> You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Sometimes this job requires hard decisions. You're the right man to make them. In fact, I think you're the only one who can. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. That's just how when it goes. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. I can't, I can't tear him up. Neither will I. It's just disrespectful to my parents' memory, really, isn't it? Got it, boys. Well, back into the fray again. Alright. I'm gonna quickly look at the codex before we head into this. See if we've got any extra info. No. 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 Should be some more. Some more info, really. It says updated the codex. Am I dumb? I am dumb. Maybe I'm dumb. Oh, wait. No, yeah, no, this is just. Okay. Um. Gotham feed. Take a look at the Gotham feed as well. Corruption rumours. I'm not going to read them. I'm just... Oh, fuck, I am. The Waynes have long been considered one of Gotham's most respected families, but new allegations of tied family patriarch Dr. Thomas Wayne and his wife Martha to the illegal business dealings of the Falcone crime family. If true, it's possible the Wayne family's staggering fortune, estimated to be in the billions, could be seized by authorities pending an investigation into their current business practices. That would be a blow to air. Bruce Wayne has continued his father's practice of using the money for philanthropy. However, Dr. Wayne met a violent end as a victim of a random street crime two decades ago. While there has been no comment on the allegations from Wayne, he did all a private meeting with the Falcone crime family head, Carmine Falcone, at the Wayne family Gotham City Mansion, which is only added to speculation. Batman tangles a mask crook atop City Hall. Oh boy. This would be a fun one. A daring raid on the City Hall office of Mayor Hamilton Hill ended last night with a massive rooftop brawl between Batman and a masked cat burglar the police have dubbed Catwoman. The battle resulted in a heart-stopping plunge off the side of the building, which cap left Catwoman's fate unclear. However, a team of mercenaries were apprehended by authorities. 
the GCPD nor representatives of the Hill administration have revealed what, if anything, was stolen from the mayor's office. Despite the outcome, many have begun to wonder if Batman let the burglar go free. We can't outsource our safety to anonymous people in disguise, said Gotham Police Com uh, Commissioner Peter Grogan. Could never trust your side, they're really on. I'm on my own side, mate. Anyway, let's look at oh, what the data like is. Egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... Drugs. More than I could have imagined. Wait. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. I what see. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. It must be working together, surely. Back years. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. I just hurt my eyes. I forgot that was a thing. Fucking this hell, that's right, it's cunt. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. Don't let me There's pick, because I won't cop no. we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Is that James guy? Uh, James. We can mobilize James. the entire police force against Gordon. Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Do I pick between? So you could go for the proper channels for the news, or you could mobilize the police force and take down Falcone. I thought we'll go with the woman. Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media, and Batman... By any means necessary. <laughs> Whatever Ooh. Falcone is planning. It Could be fun. Tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. Where is this all leading? I was going to say, he's not passing his driving test, I remembered driving the right in America. This, this is big. You drop a bomb like this, th there's going to be fallout. I'm and aware of that. Falcone can survive. Why give it to me then? You don't know how much I appreciate it, but you're a Wayne. You could have given it to anyone. I need an ally in the press. After handing me something like this, I'd say you got one for life. Falcone's slippery, but this is enough to hang him out to dry. What this could do for the city, my career, I'm just wondering what the cost is going to be. It's a risk you have to take. Worth it. I don't know, Bruce. Falcone doesn't like bad press. If I run this story, I put a price on my head. The next time my name appears in the media... God, it might be an obituary. Falcone has a way of handling reporters he doesn't like. I could be putting myself in real danger by trying to expose him. I'll protect you, I promise. Oh, chivalrous, but unnecessary. I'm just trying to be nice. Batman. That's true. I always think but, well, crime well. in the city. It's a hydra. You cut off one criminal's head. Three more appear in its place. I know. Unless we kill the beast once and for all. I'm not, what? But who's even capable of that? If we don't act fast, that void will be filled by someone far worse. <laughs> what about Batman? <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. I backed Harvey's campaign for a reason. Fixing Gotham starts at the top. <laughs> Politics to the rescue? <laughs> for once, I think. Doubtful. No matter how good looking he is. 
but it's a good thing you gave this to me instead of the police. Be sure. Could end up buried in some evidence locker and not on every screen in Gotham where it belongs. That's what I was thinking. Public attention. That's what brings down men like Falcone. That's what I was thinking. Not a bullet. Though after my story runs, he might get that too. Two I'll birds of one stone. See you later. She's got a basic bitch car. <laughs> it's done. Good. Imagine, not, so imagine right. not having a red fucking the sports car. Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Tucker. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. <laughs> Batmobile. Right, let's get some. Let's get, can we drive properly, please? I'm meant to be taking my test. Retaking my test soon. So. Skyline Club, 9.19 p.m. That just looks like a pretty smexy club. TBH, dude. Oh. Who's that flying in? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Batman. The drone's cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. Alright. Let's find Falcone. Do I actually have to do this? Good point of entry. Oh dear. Slow there, this is hard to control. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Well, there you go. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? But Nikki's a Some guy. Hit down at the dock. Not Nicholas. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. Learning something new every day. Keep going. Make your round? Yeah, no broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. Mm, all it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burned powder nice. Nice and easy, my and ass. Wait. <laughs> That's not expression you use there, lad. Uh, move on to your boy, Modnart. Nothing here. No, dude. Uh, maybe I just appreciate art. It's not all about trying to kill people. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight. I'm assuming he's in the office. Let me click on the office. Heavily guarded door in the building. It gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Do you think Four so? Armed guards. Stealth, not an option. Good. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. If I got no, no if I've got to start linking shit together, it's going to be an issue. Hmm. Couple of options for taking this guy down. Oh, I hate this linking stuff. I'm just not smart. Smash his face on the table. Yeah. Decent. Cool. You. Smash your face against the modern art. But to be fair, I like the art. I don't want it to have blood on it. It's actually quite a cool little sculpture. Or. 
That works too. That works too. If we throw it at him. I'm perfectly okay with that. Alright, next is. Am I blind? Or am I just dumb? There's one here. Right stick. Shit's pissing me off. What's up, idiot? Uh, should be close to entry point. Should be quickly neutralized. The marble pillar. Big brain, big IQ. Fly in and push him into the pillar, right? Yeah. Solid. And the last one, I don't remember the location of him, so... Looks like I can find him. Am I blind? Am I just dumb? Oh, I'm right here. This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered, Al. But didn't I say the? Didn't I already pick the art? I thought I already did that. Alright, we set. I'm mega confused. Go back out of this. Oh. I'd love to use my brain sometimes. That'd be great. Like, if I have my brain, obviously. Fly kick him over the balcony, yeah. Bruce. What's up? Have you formulated your plan of attack? No. Fuck it. I'm going in. You don't know unless you try. <laughs> your turn to crash his party. Pussy. Stop, my dude. I guess. Ah, no, bro, 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 it's happening. All right, computer gonna wait, idiot. <laughs> oh, you wanna start shooting, do you? Yeah, start shooting your fucking mouth off, mate. Yeet! <sighs> Scared. Oh, what's up, boys? Oh, hello. Yeah. 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 Easy claps, dude. Easy claps. Okay, not easy claps. Fucking gonna wait, idiot. Before you go this balcony. Yolt. Send him over. Oh, two for one. Men, smart. Show yourself. I would never do that. I want Gotham. Hey, fall down, go. Oh no, I'm coming up. I want to know. What's up, idiot? How about this one? How about the no? You can't sneak up on me. Be armed. It's like getting Rainbow Six Siege. Oh, oh. I didn't press it right. Falcone, we can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. I mean, that's a slight issue. 
I have to, I'd have to, I'd have to tell you, that's quite a bit of a problem. It's a huge deal. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Hmm. Right. Now your little ass is sorted. Any last words, dude? Answers now, or you fall. You but no. The killers. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The white rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, something reeks about this old thing. You want to be dropped? Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ah. Gotham. <laughs> what a place to call home. Whoa, whoa, wait. What the hell are you? Gotham can hear about it all they Spill fucking it, want, dude. While you still can. It's... <clears throat> the Waynes. They're behind all this. What do you mean? You really... You really want to take that crime? Well, the Waynes... Uh, are the biggest gangsters in... Wait God. a minute. He goes bullshit. I'm gone, mate. I'm gone. Oh my god. Take him out! No, mate, I'm gone. Now, I regret doing that, if I'm being with, being real with you. Room with a view. Complete chapter 5. I'm regretting that. Let's see what the fallout is. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena. For a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was brutally wounded in the attack. Oh! Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and a stunning expose by Gazette reporter Vicky Vale, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And so it's all worked out. Uncovered criminal dealings. This brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, that this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. Oh, fuck off, In his dude. defense, Wayne fired back, saying, This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. 
In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The monster Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Batman here with another car. The suit. The car. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built! I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die! If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Oh. Is that the cliffhanger we leave on here? Yes, it is. Are you kidding me? You... I want to keep playing, but... It's now 11-ish, so I'll probably leave it till tomorrow. Gmail unlocked. Family secrets. Did you stick up for Harvey in front of Falcone? You and 67.1% of players defied Falcone by inviting Harvey into the private meeting. Did you provide a quote for Vicky's story? You and 85.4% of players chose to control the emerging win story and provided Vicky with a quote. Did you break the dock shooter's arm? You and 48.7% of players brutally broke the dock shooter's arm, ensuring that he'd never hold a gun straight again. <laughs> oh, this is, a, this is a weird one. Who did you give the Falcone data to? You and 27.6% of players gave the Falcone data to Vicky Vale instead of Gordon the GCPD. Interesting one. How did... Batman deal with Falcone at the end. Oh boy, I've fucked it here, haven't I? I've royally fucked it. Unit eighteen percent of players chose to brutalize Falcone and make an example of criminal him to criminals everywhere. So you and sixty seven point one percent of players defied Falcone by inviting Harvey into the private meeting. You and eighty five point four percent of players chose to control the emerging wind story and provided Vicky with a quote. You and 48.7% of players brutally broke the box shooter's arm, ensuring that he'd never hold a gun straight again. You and 27.6% of players gave the Falcone data to Vicky Vale instead of Gordon and the GCPD. And you and 18% of players chose to brutalize Falcone, making an example of him to criminals everywhere. Let's yeet it onto the next time. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. But Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. How can I believe that? Me, there's no truth to it. That scoop you brought me on Falcone helped me more than you could possibly know. I owe you one. I'm sure Falcone's taken harder beatings in the past. Hopefully this one knocks something useful out of him. Hell of a view. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. Sorry about that. I, I thought it was what's best for my, my controller. What's best for Gotham? I have to distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. Alright. Fall Bones is just where comics or books are sold. I'm not buying. This isn't a shill, alright? I'm not buying comics or books. Alright, I'm gonna end episode one of the Batman Telltale series game here, because that is episode one.
next time we will do episode 2, Children of Arkham. An old friend becomes a new adversary as Bruce learns more about the Wayne family legacy and Batman escalates a fight against crime and corruption throughout Gotham. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. So much having fun with this. I'll try many times to do this daily, but I've got to do uh, WWE thingies. So here's the codex. Oh, we've updated it. I don't know, that's not what I want to do. Falcone claimed my family is responsible for the downfall of Gotham. That they were the biggest gangsters of all. He's not to be trusted, but his accusations can't be ignored either. Alfred Pennyworth. He never lets me forget the memory of my parents. It's the reason I do everything I do. Keeping sight of that helps me to remember the man inside the bat. Sometimes I lose that focus, but Alfred reminds me. I have Harvey looking into why Mayor Hill is, uh, has seized my assets, but maybe I should be more concerned that his new friend, Selena Kyle, is the Catwoman. Falcone mentioned some kind of criminal involvement between the Falcones, the Hills, and the Waynes. To what is he referring? It turns out her real name is Selena Kyle and she's friends with Harvey, but more troubling, she knows I'm Bruce Wayne. This will need to be dealt with soon. It turns out he's back in town looking to restore his family name and he's targeting Carmine Falcone. Still not sure what his plan is, but it's going to be trouble. My aggressive interrogation tactics at the docks may be straining his trust in me. I didn't try to explain myself, but I got what I needed. I give her all the evidence she needs to expose Falcone's operations to the world. The media spotlight will rob him of the shadows he used to hide. Falcone admitted to owning the chemicals and selling them for profit, but said he had no involvement in the dock heist. Who did the still in question? He also claims my parents were the biggest gangsters in the say. How can that possibly be true? I left him for the cops to deal with now that they have enough evidence to get him uh, to get him convicted, I should say. So long, Falcone. Population, I thought I said minus 10 million, I was like, wait. Carmine Falcone and Mayor Hill are the root of that corruption. They claim my family is involved too, but that can't be true. And there's no updates on the others. Oh wait, there is one here. Carmine Falcone implicated my family in his corrupt business dealings with Mayor Hill. It's got to be a lie. And that is where we end off episode one of the realm of, uh, of the Telltale series Batman game, Realm of Shadows completed. If you're enjoying this, then I'm glad. If you're not enjoying it, then I apologise. Uh, I'm just going to quickly look in here. There's the choices from episode one just for one last time, just as we end off. I hope you guys have enjoyed, like I said, and I'll see you very, very soon, hopefully tomorrow, for the next episode of the Batman Telltale series. Bye for now.